I'm Meredith Boggs with KNDU and welcome to the Richland School District's Focus on Learning. We're going to focus on the Three Rivers Homelink program and what really what it is. And I'm here with the principal, Eric Savota, and Eden Shelby, and her mother, Jill. And Eden is a student. So tell me a little bit about the Homelink program for people that may not know what it is. Great. Thanks, Meredith. Homelink is a choice program in the Richland School District. or K-12 program, about 400 students. And so um, all the students that come to Homelink, they choose to be there. It's an, it's an option in our district. Uh, we have three, well, really four different programs, elementary, secondary, our STEAM program, which just won a uh, designation from OSPI of Innovative School, and then our virtual school program, which utilizes K-12 curriculum. And so all four of those programs um, are offered. They're a selection. We, we, our slogan is tailored education. And so there's really two criteria for students to um, apply and then enter in our program. Uh, one is a motivated student. So a student that can learn independently, um, works hard, and then a, a parent who is engaged and active and really wants to, to take control of their student's education. Now, Eden, how do you like it? I mean, what, what is it that you like about the program? I really like how it's a smaller school and it's a little bit more one-on-one -on -one with the teachers and everyone just kind of like knows each other. So if you have like a problem like in a certain class, like if I have problems in my Microsoft class, my computer class, I can just ask my teacher and he can come over and he can show me on the computer one-on-one -on -one and he can like walk me through the steps. So you get that personal attention, you feel like you're really learning when someone's actually going through and helping and rather than you know going over it as a whole yeah. and now from a parent's perspective uh, it is a partnership mm -hmm. um, so what is your role and how do you you know how do you feel about all of it and seeing Eden involved in the program the program's been really good for our family in the sense that um, there is a partnership I'm as a parent I'm not a certified public educator and so I don't have all the tools I don't have all the knowledge that um, the public school can offer me but yet I really want to be involved in my kids education and I want um, to be a part of her life in that in that area and so um, teaming with the school that has those resources has that knowledge um, it's just a win-win for everybody because I get to be um, involved with my kid and yet I get all the resources that the public school has to offer and so they can um, help me with things that I struggle with at home or um, maybe I don't know how to do something quite right or whatever and um, they're just a great help to help me to get to, for Eden to get what she needs to. Now that's a, that's a good point Eric that she brought up is that uh, she feels as though that she, at home you know that she may not have all the knowledge and resources uh, that a school can provide and teachers so what is it that the school and the program does for mothers that you know aren't teachers <laughs> and that are just everyday mothers that want to be more involved I mean right. um, how do you go about you know what's their what's their curriculum? Yeah well it's that any mother can do no, this. That's, yeah, that's a multifaceted question. We, so I would just clarify that you know we're not homeschooling. That's a, a separate law than Homelink. We're not traditional public school. We're publicly funded, you know, kind of middle ground there. So, um, well, for instance, I mean, my wife, we're going to be parents in the program next year. So I'll be a first-time Homelink parent. So she right now is meeting actually this week. She met with one of our elementary consultants to do Dibbles testing and to talk about you know, kind of where Maverick's at as far as, you know, academically coming into kindergarten. Talking about curriculum, like for instance, Maverick, we're going to uh, use K-12 curriculum for two of his subjects. And then he's part of a great local program called Classical Conversations on the other days. So we're, we're a hybrid between Classical Conversations, Homelink, and then, you know, what my wife's doing from home. So um, curriculum, uh, consultants that help with, you know, kind of alongside parents in the journey. Um, so any mother... You know, any mother can, you know, be involved in the program. Absolutely. If they want to be engaged and they want to be, you know, active and, and tailor their child's education, yeah, we just need a, an active parent who's willing to, to do the work because it's a lot of work. It's Absolutely. a lot of work. And yeah. What, what are, you know, what are some of the things that, um, that you do with Eden? You know, are you given kind of information you have to keep her on track and go at a, at a certain pace? Tell me a little do. about that. I do, and each subject's a little bit different. Um, again, the Richland School District has been really good about kind of, she's in high school, and so there's additional high school requirements. It's, it's a little bit more, um, um, I don't even know what the word is to use, but um, 
I need to follow certain guidelines for her to be able to finish high school in a timely manner with the things that she needs to. And so HomeLink's able to give me what does that need to look like and then we can tailor it however Eden is going to learn best. So we can take what she needs to know and then make it work in a way that she is learning to the best um, to where she's not just acquiring knowledge but she's actually really learning material. So. Yeah, and, and Eden was homeschooled before she joined the program. Um, coming from your perspective, how do you feel as though that it really helps you and that it's tailored? I mean, do you feel as though that you, you, know, you have your own speed of advancing? Well, um, like there's like different subjects that I learn at different speeds because some come more quickly to me and then some I don't quite understand like their concepts, but it um, Homelink's really cool um, with like a subject that I'm struggling with right now. Um, Mrs. Davis, um, one of our counselors, and then two of the other teachers at Homelink are helping and they help find a specialized way, a specialized like subject that I can use and it will work how I learn because I learn differently in that way. So it was really cool how they worked together to find this specific way that I can learn to my ability. Right, right. Is there any criteria uh, involved if a parent would like to, you know, enroll their student in the program? Well, just the district application. So we are a, a, a free, we're publicly funded, so it doesn't cost anything out of the pocket, you know, for our students or families. So they just need to apply. Um, it's a pretty thorough application. And then, um, you know, from there, we have a short orientation, and then they're off and running with their consultant. Yeah, so it's, so it's really, it's no cost and it's more tailored for the individual. Now, preparing them um, for college, uh, you know, are these students, how, how do you make sure that these students are prepared for college, especially in the high school level? That's a great question. So, so in, in our high school students' case, and Jill alluded to this a little bit, is that we're an accredited school um, through Advanced Ed, and so with that comes some, you know, I mean, our credits are accredited, so we have to stick with, you know, rigorous scope and sequence. The difference between us and say a traditional school is we have different tools where you know, a traditional school make a, a district adoption. Our board policy is written that we can have a local adoption that really hits our students different learning styles. So we might have 10 different algebra books that meet common core state standards that can be used as a tool to hit those requirements for, it's probably, it's not what you're asking that question, but um, through that process, our ninth and 10th graders, we have a, a strong group of kids that goes off to Running Start. We have graduation actually tomorrow, um, and those students have earned the 21.5 credits that the district has. Uh, and so as far as college readiness, next year we're looking at uh, providing laptops, and we'll check those out to our students next year. And, and you know, what college student doesn't have a laptop? And so we want, instead of buying like a planner, like a school planner, we want the students to get used to using Outlook, to organizing themselves that way, to communicating via email, with, with teachers that way. So a mix between 21st century curriculum and getting student ready for college. It, it sounds to me like it, it is almost like, a, a, you know, they're preparing for college, you know, with the, with the, with the courses and with the um, laptops and, uh, you know, interacting that way. Right. Now Let I know me, that you have oh. some changes coming up uh, in the next school year. Right. That will, t t tell us a little bit about that first off, because I know that is gonna set a, a precedent for Right, College. right. So our classes are three days a week. So let's say Eden takes, uh, well, it would be language arts 10 next year. That would be three days a week, uh, so for an hour and 15 minutes each day, and then independent work on the off days. So it's kind of like taking a class out at CBC that meets, you know, periodically during the week, and then independent study. So that's our on-site model. Then we have online courses. Next year, we're expanding our, our I guess, portfolio of online classes to over 1,000 working through the digital learning department. So different curriculums, um, students will be able to take really innovative things like DigiPen virtually. Um, so we're, uh, the online class expansion, the laptop program um, where the students really wanted lockers. So we <laughs> surveyed them this year. That was one of the big things that came out. Of, so we're buying them lock. So we've got a lot of changes for our high school. We're actually um, gonna probably call it Link High School just to give it its own identity and really kind of pour resources into that. Um, now, with with that in mind, um, 
the whole learning experience, uh, it, you move at your own pace. So is it really good for students that maybe feel as though that in high school they're not moving uh, as quickly as uh, they want to or they need more of a challenge? Yeah, so there's really two different, uh, there's a spectrum, right? Mm -hmm. And so I would say that, you know, at, at the, the extent to where a student wants to really um, kind of move through their credits maybe at a quicker pace than a traditional semester schedule. Our online classes are competency-based, so a student can earn a semester credit in a, um, you know, a shortened time period if they were really motivated and wanted to. We had a student graduate last year a uh, full year early because she was motivated to get through the, the classes. Yeah, and uh, at, at the rate that, that you're going, at the pace that you're going, um, how do you feel as though that if you were in high school, um, w well, let's go with, would you recommend this as a parent and as a student um, to any of your friends? I would totally um, recommend it to my friends. Um, most of my friends are public school, but like if they weren't, I would recommend it like if they needed a little bit more one-on-one -on -one basis trying to get ahead or work on um, certain subjects a little bit more so that they can learn to their full ability. And I would totally recommend it also. It's not for everybody though. It does take um, a lot of parent involvement. Um, I have to know what she's doing and I have to be willing to take that responsibility, um, which is not easy and it requires a lot of time on that. So, so um, it's a lot, it'd be a lot easier just to send her. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us and I appreciate your time. And thank you for joining us. We'll be back spotlighting the Richland School District's focus on learning.